1998, the Board of Management of Philips commissioned a series of presentations and internal workshops coined the term ambient intelligence. The notion of ambience and ambient intelligence refers to the environment and reflects the need for an embedding of technology in a way that has become non oppressively integrated into everyday objects. The notion of intelligence reflects that the digital surroundings exhibit specific forms of social interactions, which means the environment should be able to recognize the people that live in it adapt themselves to them, learn from their behavior, and possibly act upon their behalf. The ambient side of the system includes sensors, processors, communications, and adaptive software. The intelligent side of the system will determine the success or failure of an ambient intelligence deployment. The key technologies that Ambient Intelligence based on ubiquitous computing, ubiquitous communication, intelligent user interface. While ubiquitous computing means the integration of microprocessors into everyday objects like furniture, clothes, or toys. Ubiquitous communications should enable the objects to communicate with each other and with the user. Intelligent user interface enables the inhabitants of the MI to control and interact with the environment in a natural and personalized way. As any other technique, the AMI has advantages and disadvantages. We can say in briefly the AMI reduced the human efforts, increased information connectivity and leisure, and future ready ambience. However, the limitations of AMI are need high finance to install and maintain the environment. Technology is to be incorporated into the daily routines of the different class of people. AMI can use anytime and anywhere, for example in a university or a school, it's very good for collect the attendance of the students, compute capacity and free seats, and so on. And it's very good for aging society by increasing medication compliance, enabling independent living, making life less lonely, and providing more freedom without creating safety. That's all, thank you so much.